When we look out in the universe, we don't see it as it is in the present. We see it as it was in the past. Many of the things that we see aren't really there. And much of the universe as it is now cannot be seen. Apparently, there's this fundamental limit to what we can and cannot know about the universe. And this could mean something really scary. When we see that sun shining in the sky, it isn't there now. It was there 8 minutes ago. Because light that allows us to see things travels at a finite speed. And so by the time it gets to us, some amount of time is prone to have passed. Even when we see things really close to us, there is a slight delay in the information reaching our eyes and then to our brains and an action to occur in response. Now, if an object is actually really far away, it will take light a lot longer to make it to here. The information that we will get would be telling us of the long gone past, which is good for knowing the history of the universe and to understand what sequence of events led to its current state. The further away we see, the more in the past we look. But that would be at the cost of being unaware of what's happening in our universe now, like right now, now now. And yes, it is reasonable to assume that things are just the way they should and nothing unexpected is on its way. But the thing is that, even if they were different, we wouldn't have known. And that alone isn't the whole issue. The real story is about the speed of light. To begin, it is fast, really fast, for us, not for the universe. Like even at light speed, it will take thousands of years to get to the center of the Milky Way, which is nothing compared to the scale of the universe. And yet, the speed of light isn't just fast, it is the fastest. It is the maximum speed at which any kind of information could move through space. This is why gravity along with other influences and forces couldn't have acted instantaneously. So the actual concern is not just that we don't see how the universe is now, rather it is that we just can't. And it has some unfortunate implications for anyone who wishes to explore the entirety of the universe. There are so many galaxies, stars and planets and yet most of them are so far away that reaching them at sublight speed would take eternity. Or would it? Surprisingly, it would not. For someone actually traveling because of something called time dilation. What happens is that at speed really close to the speed of light, the passage of time slows so much that it doesn't really take that much time to get to anywhere. And so for someone actually traveling, wouldn't have to experience a lot of time. Which is convenient. But for all those left behind and in the outside world, a lot of time would have passed to which they would never be able to return. And that's frightening. Aliens are another really fascinating idea that has manifested in our imagination and curiosity. But with this speed limit in place, would it even be plausible for interstellar civilizations to make contact with each other? Obviously, there are theories as to whether or not aliens ever visited us. Some even say that aliens might have influenced our development. Pop culture is filled with such stories. But can it have a place beyond fiction? Seems unlikely. Really unlikely. Because, first of all, the universe is old and vast. And so even if multiple alien civilizations did emerge in the universe, it would take ages for their messages to get to the other. And even if we do receive some form of alien message, we wouldn't be able to show that they still exist since the message could have been sent a long time ago. And on top of that, when you add on the ideas of differences in technology and behavior, it is reasonable why we haven't yet met aliens. The search for exoplanets that might be able to hold life has been one of the most glorified explorations in cosmology because it could tell us about the likelihood of life elsewhere in the universe and that it could be a future home for us. But the idea that even if we tried for eternity, the universe just simply doesn't allow fast and light travel is mood breaking. But here, what I'm trying to stress upon is that because there's a cosmic speed limit and that it is slow, there's always going to be some delay in something happening and us finding out about it. The sun disappears, we'll only get to know about it 8 minutes later. And that there would always be events that would have happened, but we would have no idea about them until some information of that event finally reaches us, which is very much limited by the speed of light. This video has been a lot more fictional than I wanted it to be. But since we're at it, remember I told you that this could have some scary meaning? What if a bubble of destruction is on its way to reaching us at the speed of light, destroying everything and anything that comes its way? And what if it's not fiction? The idea I'm talking about is vacuum decay according to which our universe might not be in its lowest energy state or vacuum state. And so if a transition occurred, 
anywhere to that lower energy state, a bubble of this lower vacuum would be formed which will be expanding at the speed of light. Now our universe is also expanding. The further away an object is, the faster it is moving away from us. And so there comes a point beyond which there are regions of space that are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And of course, it doesn't violate physics. But now, if vacuum decay occurred anywhere in those regions, we are pretty safe since even at light speed, it would not be able to get to us. But if it occurred anywhere close enough, we are doomed, eventually. And since a lot of things depend upon the energy state, things definitely will not stay the same and everything as we know it would cease to exist. And before you start feeling concerned, it's probably not gonna happen. Not anytime near enough to be worried about. The chances are astonishingly slim and honestly, we wouldn't be able to do anything about that. We wouldn't even know if it's coming until it does. Unless we could somehow get to a way for faster than light travel, which would be remarkable. It is probably not gonna happen anytime soon. However, if and when we do manage to achieve this, the possibilities would truly become endless, just like the universe. But that deserves its own episode. And just to lighten a bit, we've got global warming to fight before all of this. Thanks for watching.